Mugwort. Mugwort grows tall along hedgerows and paths throughout the summer. In fact, it is said that it can always be found growing at ancient crossroads, as Roman soldiers planted it along the roads they built and used the leaves in their sandals to relieve fatigue caused by long marches. Do try this, by the way. It really does work. Mugwort can reach up to three feet tall, and its pointed leaves are dark green on the upper side, but a lighter silvery green underneath, and thickly covered with white cotton-like hairs. The flowers look like small, grey, polystyrene beads stuck together to form tall spires at the top of the plant. Mugwort is an ancient remedy and is used throughout the world, but is not as popular a medicine in the UK as it once was. Its leaves have been used to flavour beer before the introduction of hops, and poor people use this plant instead of black tea, when black tea was too expensive for them. In Chinese traditional medicine, the leaves are dried and used to make the moxa used during acupuncture. The leaves are gently uplifting, that is, they both relax and gently stimulate the nervous system where there is fatigue. And an infusion of its leaves is useful to stimulate sweating at the start of a cold or flu. However, its main use is to stimulate periods when they are irregular and to increase circulation to the womb. The flowers are used too and are much more bitter than the leaves, so they are an excellent stimulant to the digestion. Because of this stimulant action, do not use mugwort during pregnancy. To make the bitter yet aromatic infusion of mugwort leaves, take a small handful of fresh mugwort leaves. You can use the flowers too if they're available, though your tea will be much more bitter if you do. Add a cup of boiling water and let sit for five to 10 minutes. Strain and drink while warm.